Good evening and welcome to our service of choral evensong from the Tunstall Chapel at University College in Durham. We are delighted to be able to resume our services, delighted by our choral scholars who are back in chapel with much more uh, variety as well. Uh, and happy Easter! We uh, finished last term in the midst of Lent and now we are in Easter. We hope that you could celebrate it within the restrictions uh, that you could enjoy a joyful moment. Easter is for 50 days and we're still in the midst of Easter. Um, look out for more information for this term. We will continue with our pre-recorded services on, until um, Ascension and then move, hopefully, uh, to services in chapel with congregation and choir and pre-recorded services. We will have a series of sermons uh, and we'll explore diversity. Again, a very warm welcome. And we begin our service with the hymn, Now the Green Blade Riseth.
The Psalms appointed for tonight are Psalms 128 and 130. Psalms 128 and 130. Easter Monday by Christina Rossetti Out in the rain, a world is growing green. On half the trees, quick buds are seen, where glued-up buds have been. Out in the rain, God's acre stretches green. Its harvest quick, though still unseen. 
for there the life had been. If Christ had died, his brethren well may die. Sing in the gate of death, lay by, this life without a sigh. For Christ had died, and good it is to die, to sleep when so he lays us by, then wake without a sigh. Yeah, Christ had died, yeah. Christ is risen again, wherefore both life and death grow plain to us who wax and wane. For Christ who rose shall die no more again. Amen. Till he makes all things plain. Let us wax on and win. My soul will magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. The second lesson is taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, beginning at the first verse. Now in the fifteenth year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of Iturea, and of the region of Trachonitis, and Licinius the tetrarch of Abilene, Annas and Caiaphas being the high priests, The word of God came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. And he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Then he said to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who hath warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bring forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, We have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able to do, God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. 
and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answereth and said unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized, and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed to you. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. Here endeth the reading. Oh, uh-huh. 
us in selected by the Holy Church with the heavenly doctrine of thy evangelist Saint Mark. Give us grace that, being not like children carried away with every blast of vain doctrine, we may be established in the truth of thy holy gospel through Jesus Christ our Lord.
Let us pray. As we begin this Easter term, we pray for all the students who resume the classes and those who are preparing for their exams. We pray for concentration and excitement and for a successful exam period, bearing especially in mind the students who are not with us in Durham. Grant them, O Lord, both serenity and courage that their hard work may be rewarded. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In this season of Easter, we continue to celebrate the joy of the resurrection and the promise of new life, as the poem by Christina Rossetti, whom the Church commemorates today, reminds us. It is also the feast day of Saint Mark the Evangelist, and we pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit that we may discern and study and in the world the true teachings of God. May we open ourselves to the wisdom and light of the Holy Spirit, that we may be able to recognize where God is leading us for the sake of everyone. This we pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Two weeks ago, the report from Lament to Action from the Archbishop's Anti-Racism Task Force in the Church of England was made public. While we lament the prejudices, discrimination, institutionalized racism in our church, we commit ourselves to dismantle racism in our midst, to learning, listening, and acting in a way that enables every single member of our community, especially those who have been marginalized because of their color, ethnicity, culture, to thrive. Recognizing our sin, both as individuals and collectively, may we be enlightened and strengthened by God's love to make amends and build a much healthier society in which every person is seen, respected and celebrated as a child of God. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We conclude our prayers in the words of the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.